Welcome back to Retail Nightmares. Tonight we're going to take a look at some Karens getting triggered and these are my favorite moments from this week. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so this gentleman was driving his Korea truck when he went through an intersection and the person in front of him didn't indicate correctly. The problem is though the gentleman in front of him thought he did everything correctly so he stopped his vehicle and confronted this employee. He took his anger out of this employee and started yelling and screaming at him and trying to fight him as well when he approached his vehicle and things escalated quickly. The gentleman was adamant that he didn't do anything wrong though and held his ground which obviously made this male Karen even angrier let's have a look Toll, yes Toll on the DHL truck US dot send it to your boss I'm sure they'll agree send it to your boss you were rolling Who do you work for you were, I work for myself you, were, you, you were, lose your job today? you were you were rolling you through you lose your job today? you were you rolling through a stop park. sign you do deliveries right you're illegally parked so people are recording I might call DHL and get you were you rolling through a stop sign so I was gonna let you go uh, you were you problem. were rolling through a stop sign, so I let you so I. In the intersection. Is there a stop sign here for you? You're rolling through the stop, stop sign. Is there a stop sign here for you? Is there a stop sign here for this kid? He's not going to win. You're not going to win, kid. Is there a stop sign? So why are you stopping in a one way? You, you're rolling through the stop sign, so I I was going to let you go. You about to lose your job, kid. Yeah, they're really going to fire me when you're using that kind of language. Why not? Yeah, why not? they're really when you're why this not? upset over over why something. Not? This simple. Check this out. Yeah. Check this out, boss. What? You got the right one. Why not? Tatra Signy? You know what Tatra Signy is? Who's that? You don't even know where you at. I got something for you. Okay, so this woman was walking around when she realized that this crazy gentleman behind her was following her. This went on for several minutes until she decided to call this gentleman out and tell him to go away, only for him to demand to know her nationality and what religion she believes in. She obviously didn't have to give this information to a completely random person, and that's when another person overheard the conversation and intervened. This gentleman was adamant on getting this information out of her though, which she wasn't going to hand over, which only made him even angrier. Let's have a look. Lady, and please tell me you're not Jewish. You better not be Jewish. You, if you're Jewish, you just disgraced our whole world. I followed her around. If you're Jewish, are you Jewish? Is that how we call you? I ask her. Right, and so, so, I don't have to ever see her again. Follow me around for, for like, I'm going to say two hours. I'm walking and she stays here. I'm just walking. Please leave me alone. If you touch me, I swear to God. I swear to God. Stay away from me. One hour. And by the way, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Okay, so there was this big dispute between these Karens over a parking disagreement. There was a car that just snagged this parking spot, which this entitled Karen thought belonged to her. The problem here, though, is that she can't reserve a spot that she's literally not in. And as you can tell, somebody else is already in it, which made this entitled Karen incredibly upset. That's when she got out of her vehicle to confront the driver who had taken her spot, and things got ugly quickly. These drivers started throwing and screaming all sorts of obscenities at each other, and she demanded that she leave her spot so that she could park her vehicle instead. Let's have a look. Come on, man, sit in here. Hey, I'll get out. Come on, sit in here.
Okay, so this Karen parked over the parking line, and when she came back to her car, she was so far over the lane that she couldn't get back into her car, and she was blocked in. This Karen confronts the gentleman who had parked in his lane and accused him of being the one who parked over the line, when you can literally see that he's parked perfectly. This Karen's attitude changes real quick when she snaps and starts abusing him for parking correctly. This Karen then starts abusing him and claims that he only drives his car because he has a quote-unquote small pecker and is too old to be driving his car. This Karen then starts making fun of his appearance and everything about him when literally all he's done is parked correctly in his lane. Let's have a look. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Let's get serious. You see the line that separates these? Now come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. You you need to stay within the line. But estás loca. Oh. En español, por favor. Don't call women crazy. You're crazy. Look at you. You old. Driving a car like that, asshole. You're not happy, man. I'm. You're an old fart. I am. You're too old to be driving a car like that. It's too I'm, big for you. I'm in disbelief. Pecker. Yeah, I bet you are. I, <laughs> look and you drive this like is, it. This is you drive original. like it, you little tiny pecker. This is So you original. need that. That's your. That is your. Isn't it? No. You're proud of your old. But it's your car, that you. Yeah, I can't get it up. Yeah, grandma, you stupid. Are you getting off fighting with a woman? No, I'm. I'm not You're fighting. You're getting off fighting with a woman, you I'm, little. I'm not fighting at all. Go on, man, because I'll take you down. You said any time. That's that's God, threatening, man. but it's. Okay, so a couple of people are arguing inside of this post office. Basically, they're swearing at each other and calling each other every name in the book in an attempt to shut them up. This man then strikes a very deadly karate pose and threatens to fight her. That's when other people had to intervene and tell him to leave, to which this karate master refuses. The other people then had to tell the post office to call the authorities to get him arrested as he quite literally wouldn't stand down from the fight or leave the premise. This really upset the karate master though and he told them to all come outside with him so he can fight them. Let's see how that goes for him. Step outside the door. Step outside the door. I'm not leaving. You created this. Well, listen, sir, I'm going to tell you right now. It's a federal crime, first of all, to cause a disturbance in the post office. You're subject to federal arrest. I'm warning you. I don't care if I'm federal. Okay, call the police, have them arrested. You're failing to leave because it's trespassing at this point. Thanks for watching guys and if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.